Not Korean, not Korean, Thai, Thai, Thai. Yeah, they cannot talk to each so other. The they only speak Thai. Is Thai. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Thai is a unifying language, just mm -hmm. like in China, right? Yeah. All the different dialects. This is Na Zhang. She's a um, um, Lahu a lady who's working with the heading the community craft project, and that's Mei Li, who is um, Hmong, also heading on behalf of the Hmong lady for the project. And they've been uh, doing the community crafts for a year now. Yes. What's what's their experience been like? She says it's good because they have now been able to have extra income even this during this period. Mm -hmm. uh, so for the Hmong lady, they just really have just started, especially um, they have a big project that's coming, so they feel that it's really good, you know, and they are now working together. You know, okay. to so if they weren't uh, making these embroidery products, mm -hmm. you know, and selling to travelers, what would they be doing? What, what was the other source of income for them? Tamalayu. Uh -huh. Work in the farm, in the fields. So she also worked in the field, but on her free time, she'll do embroidery and then send it to the royal project. Okay. And But they prefer embroidery to farming. Yes, they prefer it. <laughs> How long have they been embroidering? Since she was young, very young, since about six to seven years old. Mm -hmm. um, she said that um, she started since, um, you know, hill tribe people are, are taught to do embroidery since they're seven years old. And then um, they do it because they have to embroider their own dress for the New Year's celebration. Mm -hmm. So the craft center obviously has given them a center for, by which they can create their products and then sell it to travelers. How do they feel about working in the craft center in the last year now it's been? Mm -hmm. right? Yes. เอ่อเริ่มโครงการเนี้ยที่เราเริ่มมาเนี้ยรู้สึกยังไงดีมั้ยรู้สึกดีอยู่แล้วก็เวลาว่างก็เราก็ปัดไปแล้วก็ไป